Hi, my name is Rachel Paxson, and today I'm going to show you how to can pickled asparagus. In this class, you'll learn how to can pickled asparagus. I'll lead you through the process step by step. I'll also give you the recipe and the canning supply list that you can download and print out for your future reference. You can find those in your course materials, and you'll also gain the confidence you need to try more canning recipes out on your own. My name is Rachel Paxton. I'm a freelance writer and mom of five children, ages 28 to 6. This is me and my husband, Dave, and these are our three, our three boys, Christian and Zachary, are twins. They're 11, and Trenton is 7. We also have 28 and a 26-year-old daughter. I've been canning for more than 20 years, and I'm the owner of the website, creativehomemaking.com. For this recipe, you're going to need 8 pounds of fresh asparagus, Four and a half cups of water, four and a half cups of white vinegar, a quarter of a cup of pickling salt, three teaspoons of mustard seeds, six garlic cloves, and one lemon sliced. And this recipe will make approximately six to seven pints of asparagus, of pickled asparagus. Um, if you're trying to figure out how many jars you need for the asparagus, you're going to buy um, approximately a little bit less than a pound of asparagus will fit in each jar so you should be able to get about seven pints out of the eight pounds so whatever many pounds you have it will be a couple less jars than however many pounds it is to can pickled asparagus you're going to need a boiling water canner a canning rack if you're going to use your own stock pot instead to can a jar lifter, a wide mouth funnel, and six to seven pint size canning jars. This is what a boiling water canner looks like. If you don't already have one, there's a link to it in the supply list that you can download. Um, you're going to need one of these to can. This is the canning rack that goes in the bottom of the boiling water canner. If you have a large stock pot that you want to use for boiling canning, it's fine to use a stock pot but you need something like this in the bottom of your pan so that the jars don't sit right on the bottom of your pan because they can get too hot and crack so you can buy one of these for about ten dollars if you want to use a stock pot to can in. This is what a jar lifter looks like. The wide mouth funnel fits in the jar nicely so you don't have to worry about spilling when you put stuff in your jars. First thing you want to do is fill your canner about three quarters of the way full with water and heat until boiling. You also want to place your canning jars, rings, and lids in the dishwasher. Um, if you can tell from this picture, these are the tall quilted jelly jars. They're pint-sized jars. They're a little bit taller than normal pint-sized jars. You can use these jars or the pint-sized jars for canning pickled asparagus. I like to use these slightly taller jars because you can have longer spears of asparagus. If you use regular pint jars, you'll have to cut more of the asparagus off and you'll lose some of the asparagus. So these taller jars are nice, but you can use either one. First you need to soak your fresh asparagus in your sink or a large cooler full of water for at least 15 minutes and you could put some ice in there to get it extra cold. Soaking the asparagus will get a lot more dirt off of it than if you just rinse it off. It is best to can asparagus that has been picked within a day or two of you canning it. So it's not ideal to can asparagus that you get from the grocery store or that's been sitting in your refrigerator for a week or more because um, you won't get as crisp of asparagus spears in your pickled asparagus. So if you Go and get um, asparagus from a farm during asparagus season, which is normally um, April and May, most places, um, at least it is where we live in Washington State. Then you can go straight to a farm and buy asparagus fresh. Usually it's been picked that day, and so you'll know it's been fresh. And um, asparagus is a lot less expensive when you buy it from the farm, too. I can get it for about $1.50 a pound and it's usually at least $3 a pound at the grocery store so it's a lot cheaper too even if you're not going to can and if you just want it to eat it's still cheaper to get it from a farm so just look on Craigslist and see where you can find around you that hopefully there's somewhere near you that 
grows asparagus and so you want to can it within a day or two after you bring it home from the farm. Next you want to cut your asparagus spears to fit in the jars leaving at least a half an inch head space you, which means you want at least a half an inch between the top of the asparagus spear and the top of the jar to make sure you have enough room to cover them with liquid in the jar. Um, as you can see you're cutting about half of the asparagus spear off so you're going to have a bunch of asparagus left over. Normally the ends that came out of the ground are really woody and kind of greeny tasting anyway so you wouldn't normally eat them but you're going to find that you're still cutting off some of the good part of the asparagus so you can save the ends if you'd like and um, boil them or cook them later to eat. You can freeze them to save them. If you'd like to can them for later you're going to need a pressure canner to can them. You, um, asparagus itself is a very low acid food so you can't can it in a boiling water canner unless you're pickling it and it, um, in this case when you're making the pickled asparagus you're adding vinegar to it and that raises the acidity level so that you can can it in a boiling water canner but if you want to can asparagus by itself you're going to have to use a pressure canner for that or just freeze it. Um, that's an easy solution too. You're going to need pickling salt for this recipe. So pickling salt is a little bit different than regular salt. Regular salt can leave a residue in the bottom of your jars when you're canning, so it's suggested to buy this pickling salt. It's made for canning. You can find it in the section of the grocery store where they sell salt, and it's very inexpensive. You're also going to need white vinegar. Um, you want to measure the water, vinegar, and pickling salt into a large saucepan. Just bring it to a simmer. You just want to um, heat it up until the salt dissolves and it, it's hot before you pour it in your jars. Next you want to place one garlic clove and a half a teaspoon of mustard seeds into each sterilized canning jar. And then place your trimmed asparagus spears in the jar. You might find that they still didn't um, come out exactly the right length. I always end up having to trim mine again so just make sure they get far enough down in the jar and then after you get the asparagus in the jar place a lemon slice in. That's the last thing you want to put in. Next you want to fill the jars with the hot water and vinegar mixture leaving a half an inch head space and again the head space is the amount of space between the liquid, the top of the liquid and the top of the jar it's important to have the correct amount of head space in your jars when you're canning. Um, if you have too much liquid in your jars, um, your, it expands when you're heating it up in the boiling water canner and your jar can explode if you have too much liquid in it. And if you don't have enough liquid in it, then your food doesn't get processed to make it safe to eat. It doesn't cook as well as it should. So uh, make sure you have the correct amount of head space. Your recipe will, should always tell you how much you should have. Next you want to wipe the rims of the jars with a damp paper towel or dish towel. This makes sure that you get a good seal on your jars so that there's nothing on the top of the jar. Place your rings and lids on the jar and just make sure that they're finger tight. They don't need to be super tight. Next place all your jars in the boiling water canner. Make sure that the water is an inch above your jars and after the water begins boiling you want to process the jars for 10 minutes. Next use your jar lifter or tongs to remove the jars from the canner and set them on a towel on the kitchen counter to cool. Um, let the jars sit for at least 12 hours before you move them to make sure everything settles and gives the jars time to seal. Sometimes they'll seal in the canner and other times it'll take 10 or 15 minutes for them to seal as they're cooling. To tell if your jar is sealed or not, push your finger down in the middle of the lid and if the lid goes down and back up again, it's not sealed. And if it's flat, then it is sealed. If it's not sealed, you can still eat it. It just needs to be put in the refrigerator and you can eat it within the next week or two. But if it's sealed, it can be stored in a dark, cool area for one to two years or more. And that's it. That's how you can pickled asparagus. It's really easy. 
I um, canned about 15 pounds at a time, so that's about two batches of pickled asparagus. It took me about three hours to do that. So for us, that is a year's worth of pickled asparagus, so that's a pretty good use of my time, I think. I, our family really enjoys pickled asparagus, and it's a good thing to have for family picnics and barbecues and things like that in the summertime. Um, it's kind of acquired taste. Some people either like it or they don't like it, but a lot of people have never tried it before. Actually, are surprised how much they like it when they do try it because they never tasted it before. And it's actually, it's actually really good. So give it a try and see what you think. And I will see you again next time.